Hello! How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing great. Doing great. Oh. Hope today it's great over where you're at. Hope the weather's nice. Hope it's been nice. No weird flukes in the weather. <laughs> We've actually been pretty lucky. I'm, I'm surprised we haven't had another snowstorm like we did on April Fool's Day. <laughs> But, yep, I hope everyone's been doing well, and hope the week hasn't been too crazy for anyone. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I figured it'd be a good idea to come back and uh, play some more Final Fantasy XIV, since I started a new character a while ago, and here she is, just hanging out, <laughs> staring at the bed, staring at the door. There she is, beautiful, flaming redhead, Heisenblade Primrose. Who apparently might be a warrior of light. That's a pretty familiar title, isn't it? Waha! We're gonna jump! Jump for all! And it looks like we were a last last off we left off here. We were in the inn room. All kinds of stuff that we can't utilize just yet in here. But it looks like we are to report to Mayor Wib, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, <laughs> at the command room. We shall carry on! Carry on! And carry our big axe with us. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, that was that was terrifying. That scared me for a second. Somebody wearing that lovely pink spriggan outfit. <laughs> oh, hello there, good sir. I'm going to come talk to you in a minute because I think... I think I'll be able to access this... What this guy has to offer later. For now. Let's go. Wait, we have to go to the command room, so I think we have to take the lift down. Take to the lift down to the. Yep, go a call. Take us downstairs, dear! Please! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Hello there, Xanthale! Just hangs out here and lets people in. Not all of them, not all of them. Again, not everybody can just walk in. It wouldn't be very nice. Alright. Greetings, Heisenblade. Admiral Lucifer awaits you in the command room. Shall I announce you? Yes, please! Please let us enter the command room. Okay, there she is. Hello there, dear. How are you? Ah, oh, Heisenblade, it is good to see you on your feet again. You are recovered? <laughs> yeah, after that little dream we just had last time. Then let us waste no time. I have a task that needs doing. One I would entrust to no other. Yay! We get money and we get XP. Ta-da! Lots, lots of XP too. <laughs> because of our nice little buff we got. Two buffs. I still have my my lovely earring on. Oh, I forgot to update my uh, gear set. There we go. Must always refresh. Alright. What's up, dear? duty I have in mind for you requires some explanation. I do hope you have not made other plans. To business, then. Yes, ma'am. The Lominson Envoy. Yay! And look, we're gonna get a little a little minion, a wind-up airship if we do this task. Cute. I have penned a letter to each of my counterparts in the Eorzean Alliance. Battle of Cartano and the calamity that followed claimed countless lives. It has been five years since those of us who were spared dragged ourselves from the ashes to look upon an Eorzea we scarcely knew. Five years and yet the people still suffer. Their lives are fraught with worry and hardship and the warriors of light who might once have given them hope are gone. Yet we must press on regardless. We will never truly do so, however, till we have faced our past. To that end, I am proposing that a memorial service be held in each of the city-states on the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Cartano. These letters contain the details of said proposal. And I would have you deliver them to our allies as my personal envoy. You have proven yourself a staunch and able ally to Limza, but that is not my only reason for choosing you. No, I choose you because you possess a quality which puts me in mind of history's champions, a quality I fear lost. Say that you will perform this duty. Well, I kind of have to. <laughs> we want to progress, right? 
I knew you would not disappoint me. This task shall take you far from the borders of our nation, to the city-states of Gridania and Ulda. A grueling journey, to be sure, were you to travel by sea and land, but I mean to have you take to the skies. I look at my hand and there's nothing there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is funny every time. An airship pass to be used at your discretion. Airships bound for the nations of our allies leave from the landing connected to the bridge. But before you depart, I suggest you trouble Bataron for a few per pearls of wisdom regarding each of your destinations. The old bastard is nothing if not well-traveled. Tis a pity I cannot issue such passes with a freer hand, as I did in more peaceful times, when births were not so limited. But in these times of war, every craft we commit to the clouds risks drawing the eye of the Empire, and every voyage must needs be born of necessity. Lest you doubt, I consider your place well deserved. Nor am I alone in that opinion. There were other parties who would see you granted the privilege of air travel. Aye, Heisenthal, your deeds do not go unnoticed. Full many see great prompts in you, but I have flattered you enough. On behalf of Limza Luminsa and her people, I bid you go forth, adventurer. Discover the realm for which so many have fought and died. Wonder and danger await you in equal measure, but turn not from either. Only by braving the unknown will you achieve the greatness of which you are surely capable. The light of the crystal guides you, and I wager that your destiny will be no small thing. Yay! Thank you for the pass! Woohoo! And because we get that airship pass after we go talk to Bauron, that means we get to leave the city. Like, the whole, not just the city, but the whole area. Okay, so it looks like we have to go back to the Drowning Wench, just make sure there's nothing we're missing. Some more on locks, but we're not going to do that right now, because those are jobs and classes we are not going to worry about right now. Let's head down and talk to Baron at the Drowning Wench. <laughs> okay, he's over here, he's over here. Hello, sir. I'm back to bother you again, which means I have to now say what you're going to say, because you talk funny. <laughs> back from your meeting with the Admiral, are you? Personal bleeding envoy? Shh, just let everybody know. Jeez. So you'll be carrying the word of the Admiral herself to the leaders of the Alliance? Bugger me. I knew you were going up in the world, but I didn't realize you'd got that bloody eye. I'm proud of you, lass. Think of how far you've come. Why, tis enough to bring a tear to me, I. And that ain't the ale talking, neither. Well, just not just the ale, at any rate. <laughs> he's admitting he's drunk. A little bit. Bless the navigator for steering you my way. Of course, this is only the start. Now you've got your hands on an airship pass. The old the old is laid out before you, like a fair maid on a feather bed. Well, that's nice. Thanks for that lovely image there, sir. <laughs> and she's a big old girl, too, with plenty of enticing nooks and crannies. <laughs> Jeez. If you think us Lominsons are characters, just wait till you cross paths with the grim ford forest dwellers of Gridania, or trade coins with the crafty merchants of Ulda. And then there's the wild places where the beasties rule, and no bugger with an ounce of sense sets foot. But you're an adventurer. So I wouldn't let a little thing like that hold you back. Of course, it ain't all exploring and excitement. There's a heap of troubles where plagues every nation see. It ain't just ours. I'm talking intrigue and fighting beastmen and their god's damned primals. Aye, there's an ugly side to life and sooner or later you're bound to walk into it. But I'll wager there's bugger all out there that as you can't handle. Something tells me you're gonna be just fine. The realm, the realm's at it rough. Tis true, but folk begin to recover from all the beating the calamities dealt them. Call me an hopeless optimistic, but it wouldn't take much to turn around, turn things around. 
Tis the perfect time for a venture like yourself to get out there and make a difference. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, I'm sitting here talking to you. <laughs> I swear, like, I'm trying to, like... I know, I know what... I know what his uh, speech reminds me of now. <laughs> it makes me think of Hagrid. That's how Hagrid from Harry, the Harry Potter series talks, I swear. It's kind of funny. Alright, anything here we need to worry about? No, nope. and we have our... Nope, not gonna have any other unlocks for the time being. I'm okay with that. But first, before we leave, do you... Do you have what I need you to do for me yet, sir? Greetings, I am one of the Smiths, Stoker, Fires, and Forgers of Futures. As a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. Well, well, the mantle of adventure does not drape so awkwardly from your shoulders as it once did. But while questing alone certainly brings its own rewards, you haven't truly adventured until you've delved into some darkened dungeon or stalewart comrades at your side. Ancient ruins, echoing caverns, and all manner of deadly places like, like lie hidden across the realm, and these are best conquered in the company of trustworthy allies. And such advice holds true for many a formidable foe that would crush a solitary adventurer. How one fights in a party, however, is often drastically different from how one fights alone. Thus do we construct the Hall of the Novice, where we endeavor to pre prepare you for those differences. The Hall can be found just north of Aleport in western Lan Lanasia. Within its walls, we offer budgering heroes a, a, a brevy of training exercises. Step into the flames, my friend, and forge the skills you shall need for the morrow. Yay! Hall of the Novice membership granted! Fun. But we don't necessarily have to go to where he says, because it will just give it to us here anyway. Yay for training exercises! I've never done this at a tank though, so I don't know what this- <laughs> I've only done the DPS, which is a cakewalk. So, I don't know what this is going to involve. You're here! You're here, Jack! It's okay if you're AFK, you're here! I'm glad to see- you. I'm glad to see you made it. <laughs> okay, well- Let's see what we're gonna have to do here. The nice thing about doing the the Hall of the Novice stuff, though, there, you know, yes, it may seem kind of silly for some folks, but you actually get a nice little gear set, a full nice little gear set out of it, and a ring. I believe you get a ring, and the ring gives you a little bit of some nice buffs, low low level buffs, and it gives you an XP buff until level thirty. Um, so. Granted, we're level 20 right now, and we've got a ton of XP buffs already, but if if you wanted to, if you did this and got that ring, and you wanted to pick up another job later, and you wanted to hurry up and get to level 30, where, you know, especially if you, especially if you sorry, let me start over here. Especially if you wanted to pick a job that starts at level 1, you know, let's say you're at endgame, and you want to start back at level 1 with a new job you haven't tried yet or whatnot. If you have that ring and whatnot, it'll give you a pretty nice XP buff, That'll hurry you up and get you to level 30 um, for those level 1 jobs that, of course, don't get, um, uh, that don't get, you know, don't get their job jobs. You know, your class first and you get your job unlocks level 30. If that makes any sense. Ugh. I'm trying to get my thoughts in order here. Jeez. Well, <laughs> that streaks. Oh, thanks. Put some clothes on. I can't have that in here. Rude. <laughs> Besides, if you want to see, besides, you know, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of, um, I'm sure I'm probably going to run into plenty of people in this game that are going to be, um, well, <laughs> how should I say? Exhibitionist? <laughs> no, I'm not, but I am a mom, and I will lay down the law in here if I have to. All right. Well, let's see what this entails for a tank. Like I said, I've done this as a DPS. Of course, it's, you know, quick because it's a solo thing. You just get in here and you, you do it. All right, Let's see what this is. Yay! Just love that music. Oh, he's telling me to listen up. Uh oh. So the physics. I gotta be learning avoidance. Oh, but joy. Yeah. So you have to go through this part. You know, they don't let you skip the dialogue. You just have to just read and wait it out. Um, but uh, I think there are seven. Seven of these you have to do six or seven um, and I think you get a piece of gear every time you clear no not every time you clear one um, but the ring is the last thing you get I know that all right once he's okay yeah so he's did a cycle through. once he's done then you can move 
fire started, then yep, yep, let's do it. Because this could be interesting. Okay. So it's now underway, huh? Alright, well, what do I gotta do to this big old guy here? Look at him. Look at that guy. Watch my opponent. Yeah, okay. So it sounds like this is pretty much very similar. So I gotta smack him. Oh, yep. He's gonna make me. Can I smack him? I guess I can hit him. Yeah, so. <laughs> this is literally. The, the, this is very similar to uh, the DPS, where you're just. <laughs> You're learning to avoid standing in the AoE. Any AoE or any attack oncoming or whatnot, it gives you a cue. Following good old Final Fantasy, you know, a little bit of turn-based uh, logic here, you know, where... Oh, we have to smack you. I'm gonna smack you now. Smack you. Yeah, yeah see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with your own stuff. <laughs> so we just do this until they say we're done. Probably gonna start doing stuff. Me. Now, it's okay if you do get uh, hit like once or twice. Okay, so we gotta wait. So yeah, now he's gonna tether us. So we gotta wait until the tether goes away. So now we run, get away, and then we get away from that. Yeah, and we get away from that. Get some more. You're not really supposed to beat him. This is literally just the avoidance test. Don't stand in AOE. <laughs> every, that's how it feels like every time we do it. Kill him in the dick! It's how it always feels like. It does. But no, we don't kill him. We don't kill anybody here. It's really, they're they're kind of like training dummies. Live training dummies. They just beat on him a little bit, you know. <laughs> okay, so the first one's done. And you get, you get some nice XP and a little bit of gill. And yep, right there. Get my new uh, gear. And it, of course, it is custom to whatever, whatever class you come in here with. It, the gear you will get will be custom. It'll be like for DPS specifically, or healer, or tank, and the gear will be for that particular job. So yeah, that one is done. Yay! Cool. And the nice thing is, that is an upgrade. I like upgrades. We can put those on right now. Get them level 15. So yeah, I'm a little ahead of the curve. I'm level 20, and it's a level 15 gear fit. But it's a nice gear. This is actually a pretty nice gear set. Um, in some cases, you know, it'll actually last you for your first few dungeons, which haven't unlocked the dungeons yet, obviously, but yeah. I, according to my record, you have not yet fully completed your training. Well, yes, I know. Duh. You're, he's trying to be like, hey, do the next thing. Which, of course, um, we are level appropriate and we're ready to do it because we haven't done it. So, looks like we have to execute a combo to increase enmity. And enmity is essentially threat. All right, let's see what this entails. But yeah, no, um, in some cases, like if it says you're not supposed to get hit in some of these, um, you can get hit, but there's a limit. I think if you get hit more than like, oh, I don't know, the DPS was five times. If I got hit five times, then of course, fail the exercise, start over. Okay. Yep, I'm the wall of steel. Yep, so we yeah, so soaking up the pain. So I basically, I this is a, um, I gotta use the combo advised by the master to attack the striking dummy. <laughs> dummy. <laughs> Says the striking dummy. What? What do you bet it's a live one? <laughs> Just like last time. <laughs> All right. Let's have a little chocolate for some good luck here. <laughs> Defiance. Oh, wait, that's my, um, buff, isn't it? Can I talk to you yet? Nope. He's not gonna let me talk to me yet. Nope. I'm not calling this guy a dummy. I'm calling the guy that he's gonna have me go smack around, probably, the dummy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yep, alright. Oh, hey, he took my thing off. Can I put it on right now? I can. Yeah, that's what he was talking about. He took my threat my threat off. There we go. That's my threat generator right there. My battle stance, if you will. There you go. Battle stance. <laughs> okay, so I got it on. Yeah, oh my gosh, it actually is training to me. Look at that! Okay, I take it back. It actually is training to me. That's definitely. Okay. 
Okay. Don't try nothing fancy. Oh, okay. So, snack. Okay. So I gotta do this. There we go. <laughs> Says if I do it wrong four times in a row, then I fail. Okay. <laughs> really? Is this really what this is? Really? <laughs> okay. Wow. That's, uh, okay. I, you know what? I better not make fun of it yet because uh, this could go, this could go pear shape real quick. All right. Okay, so I don't get any gear for this one, but I do get some XP and some gear. Oh, did I level? I level! Fanfare! Thank you for the fanfare, sir. I'm level 21 now. All right, I check out another one. According to my records, yes, I know, because there's supposed to be another exercise. Yep, there it is. Execute a combo in battle. Begin! <laughs> Jag! No! <laughs> oh, it's not touchy. Oi! <laughs> I said, I said pear shape for <laughs> Okay, whatever. I'm stuck over here. Alright, listen up, novice. That's what he said. Yeah, you know what? So what if I'm a novice? Just because you're wearing that fancy armor. Yes, I remember how the enmity works. I gotta, I gotta build it up or keep it built up. Yes. So it says here I gotta defeat the axe wielding training partner. So <laughs> they're actually gonna give me a real, real guy. <laughs> same thing. Right? Yes, technically you're right, Nakaro. It would be the same thing, I guess. <laughs> sort of. If your allies still stand at the end of the fight, I'll count that as a win. Okay, cool. We gotta keep everybody alive. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put this on. Talk to you yet? Let's see if I can do this. See if I can don't screw this up. Yep, I can talk to him now. Ready to start? Yes. Fast we go, because that, that, this is the other weird thing. I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you walk in on this, you have to sit there and listen to him go through the speech at least one time through, and you can't skip it. The timer's already started. I'm like really? Okay. So pound your opponent. Okay. I'm gonna. No, no, you don't. Come here. You pay attention to me. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I have his full undivided attention. Maybe I should bring him over here. Are you, are you gonna follow me? No, he, oh, no, he is gonna follow me. Okay. Hey, my healer's actually healing me. Okay, good. I gotta pull him over here. And look, notice how I made sure that he's turned away from my uh, party. In case he does a cleave or something. Smacked him. Really? Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Okay. All right. Pretty basic. So yeah, this this is definitely turning out to be a little bit of a wow. This is this seems so easy, right? Well, you know, be surprised. Some people don't understand these, so I get it. Oh, hey, look at that! New boots. I understand the basics of tanking. That doesn't mean I'm probably going to be good at it. <laughs> okay, can we do another one? Please, sir, may I have some more? Yes, he'll let me have some more. Accrue enmity from multiple targets. Ooh. We get to start using the AoE, which I'm pretty sure we have an AoE now. One, maybe? One AoE? To smack things? We'll have to see. All right. See, yeah, see, right over here, the timer. It's already going. Now I have to sit here and listen to him. I can't be like, hey. Can I just kick you in the dick and pull the chain open myself and go now already? No, you're not. No, okay, fine. You ever tried using the overpower technique? Let's see, overpower. Oh yeah, there it is. Yep, right there. It's all the enemies right there. Overpower hits lots of them. Yep. Cool, cool. That's my ranged attack. That's my stun. That's a provoke, that's a taunt. I do get a taunt, which is nice. Can I talk to him now? Okay, so let's pop this on now before I forget and talk to him. Okay. So let's see if this actually goes well. I get to finally hit stuff. Oh gosh, really? Okay then. All right, gotta use overpower to hit all three of them, huh? 
five times. I gotta hit it. I gotta, so I can't screw this up. Whack! Do it again? Nope. Oh, I gotta do it again. Did I get him? Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh! Wait, what? Hmm. Okay. Do I have to stand right in the middle? Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Okay. I don't want to start over here. That didn't work last time. Well, now, I think I might have actually found the problem here. Okay, this only goes so far. Okay. Hmm. And if I target, it's not gonna go. There we go. Oh, I see. I'm a dummy. I am. I'm the dummy here. I see. So I have to target. Nope, oh, didn't work at the same time. Okay. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, oh got to do it again then. Okay. I, I think I get it, though. Ah, I got Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Well, at least it doesn't kick you out of the whole thing. Interesting. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Back. There we go. That's that one. That's pretty straightforward. Okay. Okay. So I think when I did it, no, I need to do this one. No. Nope. Didn't work. Okay. What did I do last time? What did, how did I do this last time? No. Oh, I. Oh, I. Okay, hang on. There we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. This is a lot farther away, so. Okay, almost at the end of it. That's what we gotta do. Okay. Okay, there we go. I get it now. Okay. Okay, that was a little wonky. That threw me for a loop, I admit. So I'm the dummy in this case. <laughs> the sad part is if this actually were a real dungeon, I probably would do better. <laughs> Wouldn't be perfect, but I'd probably do better if it were a real dungeon situation, running around trying to actually collect all the things. Okay. Got anything more for me, sir? Just sent to kick the damn rabbit. Isn't that the truth? Oh my gosh. <laughs> According to my records. Yes, I know. Mm. Have some chocolate for good luck here. Engage multiple targets. Okay, hopefully this will be easier. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. So we have to fight while building energy. Multiple... I'm more dots. I would love more dots. Let me tell you. Okay, fighting multiple points. Well, I hope it'll be. Okay, I'm sure that the enemy's only interested in hitting you. Yes, I know. I understand that's the point. I understand the whole point of the tank thing. It's a matter of me actually executing it correctly. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, oh, I was gonna put on my. My, my battle stance first. I can do it right here. They're not gonna do it right. Here. Okay, so you're my healer. Alrighty. I'm here. Let's see if I can get. I'm gonna. He's the cast. That's the caster. So the caster's probably gonna stay put. That's my guess. So. Come on over here. Yeah. Pay attention to me. There we go. All of them. I am hitting all of them. There we go. And they're all paying attention to me. I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. There we 
go. Keep him entertained. Keep him entertained. Might as well just keep this up. The healer's actually doing a pretty darn good job. He's gonna be alive, so let's just keep it simple here, right? All right, one down. Oh, hang on. You're not. You're not getting attacked. Okay. Uh, I have I have full aggro anyway, so I don't really have to worry too much. Okay, your turn. Can I just do this? Okay, there we go. Okay, whatever. Charge! <laughs> I don't have a charge. I don't have a charge yet. I don't think. I think they give me a um, a long range to pull enemies to me, and I think I get a normal like I get provoke, which. I think he has a pretty good reach, but it's not super. All right, what do we get here? Get anything good? Yay! I got more gear and some gill and XP. All right. Unfortunately, I think I just realized I didn't put my other my stuff I got last time. Let's put the stuff that I got on last time. So let's see. We got pantalones and zapatos, big ones too. Yay! Refresh. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Refresh, refresh, refresh. All right. Will you give me some more? Yes. Exercise six. Okay, here we go. Wait, maybe there's more than... What? Okay, so I know obviously there's more than six. Cause I can't, this is definitely not the last one. I don't think. Execute a ranged attack. Okay, yeah. So here we go. Now we have to start practicing the ranged attack stuff. Which for... Looks like the Marauder is called... I think the ability is called Tomahawk. Which I think is a cool name. I like it. <laughs> All right, establish entity with ranged attacks to heal enemies. Okay, ranged attack, cool. Let's go ahead and put the on now. Arrgh! I have big axe. You have zero idea how it works. Um, so far, you know what? Honestly, Eric, so far, because I I do I have picked up a tank job on another character. I picked up Gunbreaker, which is a little bit crazy because of course that starts at level 60 so it's here have all of these abilities that you're supposed to know as a tank have fun okay <laughs> um but it seems like on the base level it's very much a you have your single target there's a combo to keep your threat up entity is your threat um i have a, i have the aoe which is strike a bunch of people and then um I gotta change this. I have an interrupt and a stun, which is cool. And then you have a I throw something to get their attention and increases entity. And then there's also provoke, which is a taunt, essentially. And up here I have, let's see, this is my berserk, which uh, makes sure all my hit, my hits will be crits. And then um, for a few seconds, it only goes for 10 seconds. And then I have a reduced damage. The first one it looks like again. This is similar. Rampart, I think, is a cross ability because it does say it's for, at the bottom here, the affinity is for gladiator. Uh, the Gladiator, Marauder, Paladin, Warrior, Dark Knight, and Gunbreaker, all the tank stuff, so it's pretty basic. So yeah, it's pretty much, pretty much it sounds like, you know, on the very, very basic level, if you were to line up all the tanks and just start with their base levels of, um, here's all your, here's all your abilities you get from, like, level 30 and under, it's all, you know, the same. Okay, so I have my threat, all right. Trying to grab it full attention. Okay. So, boop. Okay, so let's, uh. Okay, I have overpower. There we go. They are all on me, everyone. There we go. Hitting everybody. Hitting all the things. Uh. Big problem. My healer not. Oh, interesting. Oh, I understand. I thought I was supposed to aggro all of them, but I think I missed the part. Yes, I know there's a KO, which... Okay. Okay. I don't want to fight all at once. I see. Well, that explains that. What, healer? You're seriously not going to help me here? Okay, well, let's try. Can I pull you? Oh, that worked out. Okay. All right, there we go. How silly of me. I should have been paying more attention. Oh well. Although the healer was a terrible healer. They just let me die anyway. It's like, ah, you screwed up. You pulled too much. I'm just gonna let you die. It's like, you're a terrible... Rude. 
Yeah, I figured she'd heal me eventually. Just obviously not through all the mobs, yeah. Come on. Of course, she's not doing a good job. She's not really healing me through this, either. Nah, fine, whatever. Oh, now you're gonna heal me? Oh, I see how it is. Okay, let's take on this guy. Well, we've got time. They're not telling me I failed yet, so okay. All right, let's see if I can pull these guys. Come here. Okay, cool. There we go. I have their full undivided attention. Let's uh, go ahead and let's make this go a little faster. Let's do some berserk. Here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go a little bit faster. We'll just melee it. And smack it down. As someone who plays mostly healer, though, you are a fail healer. I'm gonna let the tank die just because they pulled too many mobs. Dude. Alright, fair enough. Okay, let's pull you guys. Alright. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just. That's alright. I'll do another AoE. There we go. Let's back some more. Come here, you giant chicken. <laughs> I know it's a dodo. I'm gonna call it a giant chicken anyways. Weird fat bird. After I kill you, I'll tar and feather you. Defeather you, I should say. I'm gonna freaking boil you, pull all your feathers out, and stick you in an oven. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Alright. But in a real dungeon se uh, setting, everyone, we pull everything. We just pull everything. We don't say anything to the healer, just... Pull everything and assume that the healer can, especially if it's a white mage, you know. They're white mage, that's what they're supposed to do. I am, by the way, I'm absolutely kidding. <laughs> I am very kidding. I would not do that. I always ask the healer first, hey, how do you feel about pulling more than like two packs or whatever, you know? <laughs> uh, quiet, Baron, stop it. <laughs> I am trying to be a good tank here, dang it. This is, I'm coming from, like, healer background here. Do you have any idea how frustrating it is when there's a tank that just rushes off? And it's like, well, that's great. You think that you're such a great tank. You're going off and you've pulled all the things. So nothing is hitting us. That's great. Unfortunately, you've run so far ahead of the party. And the healer, me, can't keep up with you that you're going to die. And then we're all, then we're going to die because they're all going to come at us. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, all right. Another one? Yep. Another one. All right, engage enemy reinforcements. Ooh. All right, let's see how bad I can fail at this. A fun little thing to do before I, you know, go be a warrior of light. Stuffs. <laughs> All right, so then put this back on. Rah! I still want to freaking ninja kick you and just open the gate myself. All right. All right, sometimes there's latecomers to a battle. Yeah, I gotta stay alert. All right, so defeat the enemy while staying alert for reinforcements. Okay, so I gotta engage what they give me, smack them, and keep their attention. Just gotta be on the lookout. And a two-way for a combination. And reel them in with tomahawk. Okay. Essentially, I gotta freaking hit somebody in the forehead. Tomahawk. You think that would take them out? And just take one of them out, and they fall down, and then the rest of them come after me. But no, no, no. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Beat every enemy on the field. Okay. Okay. So he did say I can use overpower once I get everyone nice and close if I have to do it that way. So if that's the case, the healer better freaking heal me <laughs> this time. All right, you big boy. You are gonna come. We're gonna go. We're gonna go hang on a corner elsewhere. I know the action. Let's go. Come on, come on bu buddy hop, buddy hop. Let's go. Nope! Come here. Alright, let's zoom out a little bit so I can see. Probably gonna come from over there. Whoop. I'm a hawk. Oh, I'm not close enough. Come here. You come here. Oh! Oh no, you don't. Hey, come here! I said come here. I guess the tomahawk didn't work very well. That's alright. Come here, come here. And full undivided attention. Yes. Heal you guys in. Anybody coming? All right, let's go ahead and smack him down. Avoid that as well. Even as a tank, 
you need to always remember. Come here. Come here! You're not get over here. Stop hitting my That's rude. Okay, apparently Tomahawk is not entirely reliable. Oh, absolutely rude. Okay. Oh well. That's alright. We did it. Oh well. Did I see any of the changes come uh, coming to classes in Shadowlands? Reduce reintroducing old skills. I am okay with that. Sounds like they're taking a nice big uh, dip in the hat from the classic or whatever, you know? Pulling that out. Okay. Oh yeah, chess piece! Cool. I haven't gotten the ring yet though, so that means there's one more one more exercise. Okay. So let's see here. No hat yet, so chess piece. And that was it, right? No, all we've gotten is the that stuff. Okay, yeah, I think so. Cool, cool. How are we looking so far? Now that we've got the chest piece on. Ooh, yeah, now we're looking like a tank. That's pretty schnazzy. Hey, that was better than us. Not sure about the paladin changes. Prot having charges again is kind of bland. Uh oh. <laughs> well. I don't know. Honestly, I, I hate to say it. I really haven't been paying that much attention. I am, I am just kind of waiting to see. I'm, I'm no, I don't even think, I don't even think I'm going to pre-order Shadowlands. Like I've done all the other expansions before. I think I'm, well, especially since, you know, I know the first like week or two weeks, there's going to be tons of bugs and lag and all kinds of crap anyway. So I might as well just wait, you know, and I don't feel like spending, I honestly don't spend, like, feel like spending the money on it. So at least not right away. I don't know. I'm excited about the idea of Shadowlands. I think it's really cool. And the leveling revamp sounds neat too. And I, I have high hopes for it. I don't know. I don't know. Meh. Who knows? At this point, I don't know. All right. Is there one more? One more? Yes. One more. Final exercise. Yay. We made it this far. I fumbled. I fumbled through the tanky so far. Oh, brother. Mm. Oh, I need some water. I swear if I actually get into a real dungeon, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Alright, let's put our defiance on. Tank stance. Final exercise. Hey, I kinda look like you. Sort of. Yeah, no, straight up. I'm wearing, we're wearing the same gear, kinda. Alrighty. Ooh, question marks. What are we gonna be fighting? Where are we? We're outside. Yeah, we're outside Limsa. Ooh, that's such a cool view. I love that. That's super cool. I like it. Uh, I think we're near... We might be near airport. Cool. Can I go? Can I run? Can I go now? Can we go? I'm gonna go. Wait, can I, still, can I talk to you? Oh, I have to actually talk to you. Okay. <laughs> They're not just gonna let me run off. They're like, oh, come on. They're not just sitting there down, down the lane waiting for me? Okay. I got a friend. Another friend right here. Okay. Okay, I guess we just smack the bird. Oh, yep, I knew we were gonna do that. Good thing you're not too close to my uh, friend there. Smack the bird. Smack the bird. Smack the bird. Oh. Face me, face me. There we go. Okay, alright, good. It's not facing my uh, DPS. Because I have a feeling that Archer is not going to move if there were uh, an AoE there, because I bet they're kind of dumb. Come here. No, no, no. You, 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 you attack me. Come here. There we go. Let's smack you a little bit more for good measure. Stand an AoE. There we go. Keep smacking the dodo. Keep smacking the dodo. Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready to take you, take you home, and cook you in my oven. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get them all. I did. Yeah. See, I'm learning. Oh nope, you're gonna come over here to me. Yeah. All the AOE nonsense. I remember this. We dance. We dance if we want to. We do the safety dance. Let's 
Stay away, you stay away away from your friends. Over here. Smack it. Ah, probably. Gonna All right, so there's only gonna be two AOE. Oh, nope, never mind. Haha. <laughs> Come on, I want to kill you. I want to kill you, you ugly thing. Okay, right. hey, off we go. Oh, look, a goo boo, a goo goob goo boo. Oh, jeez. I believe you can get one of these as a mount. It's kind of fun. Right, come here. Okay, turn to face me. Alright, so we just have to take this guy out. Yep, okay. Fun berserk. <laughs> berserk will make sure all of my hits are going to smack you really good. I'm pretty sure there is a mount for this. For, for, for this guy. I, I can't remember. You can get it with tokens from events and stuff like that. It looks hell funny as hell, though, especially when it's flying. That is such a funny looking mount. Alright, almost got it. As long as it doesn't spontaneously combust. Stand in the AoE. Come on. I already. Oh. Gotta get one more who run, huh? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. What did you say, Baron? As a main paladin, tank I don't care. Glyph that makes me concentrate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I wouldn't know that. I I don't have a clue about paladin tank whatsoever. So yeah. Okay. Let's see here. All right. There's the ring, everybody. What are you doing, Jag? Sending links in here. What are you doing? All right. There's the ring. And I'm going to put that on right away because <laughs> why not? Let's get to level 30 faster. Okay, where is that sucker? Now, there's a couple of rings in here, but I think. All right. We're going to put that one. Yeah, we're going to put it on this one right there. Done. Yay. And there's the ring. So yeah, it gives you all of these uh, nice uh, stats. It gives you everything. So yeah, if you're a healer, obviously you don't need dexterity, but it's there anyway. It's an all-around ring for all disciplines of war or magic. But it gives you increased XP by 30% when you're 30, when you're level 30 and below, which is awesome. So you watched me on the left. Yeah. You, oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know if I, I'm not, I'm not clicking on it. Nope, nope, I'm not, nope, it's a trap. And that concludes the uh, Hall of the Novice exercises, yada, yada, yada. Goodbye. And technically, I mean, yes, I could do it again if I wanted to as a DPS to get a DPS or a healer and get the gear that they offer for that if I really wanted to, because I think you can do that, but don't really have to, because the important thing is that ring. All right, so I need to go to the airship landing now. I'm pretty sure that if I talk to you, yep, you will take me directly to the airship landing. On to more MSQ. Wow, yeah. <laughs> wow, Jack, yeah, I'm not, nope. That's why I'm not clicking on it because I have a feeling. <laughs> I'm just, uh, yep, not even, not even gonna go there. All right, yep. Okay. Yes, I am that famous adventurer. Yes, I'm Heisenthal from Rose. I'm glad you noticed. We get to proceed to the landing area. This is going to be a little bit longer of a step-by-step -step process. They they really make you go because when you actually once you get all this unlocked, they're not going to make you take so many extra steps just to get to here. So, all right. Saran. Sen Senran Kagura. Oh, I. Uh, I don't know. Mm, I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it anyway. What did What did you do? Okay, I'm glad I should. No, nope, no, nope, it was. I knew it. I knew it was a trap. I shouldn't even have bothered. I shouldn't have even bothered. Not even. Nope. Not even. Mm -mm, nope. Nope. I shouldn't have even done it. Bah. Yay! Cutscene. Pretty airships. Attention all passengers, the airship bound for Gridania is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. I don't have to go through, uh... You know, 
where, you know, they're not gonna pat me down and check for weapons, are they? <laughs> uh, jeez. I don't know, I've got, I've got a big axe. Are they not gonna take that away? <laughs> it's like I'm the only one on the ship anyway, so I get, I get special, special transport. I get the best first class ever. Pretty. Aw, they're all see me off. How nice. How nice of them. <laughs> you can pay tribute all you want. You, I don't. I don't care. You're <laughs> you're stoking that fire. <laughs> I hope I hope you're ready because <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh brother. Good fortune to you, Heisenthal. Bye, everybody! The day will come when your name means the same as Eero to the folk of this realm. Oh, yeah. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Oh, yes, the light of that crystal. Oh, yes. Yep. I know what's so loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I know. I think. I swear I'm enabled. I knew I shouldn't have rolled. Part of me said, maybe I shouldn't have rolled the bunny. <laughs> Although technically, I, I haven't given her a proper glamour yet, I guess, so, you know. <laughs> Whee! Pretty! Uh-oh. What is this? What is this? I know what it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to you, if you've never seen this before, say hello to what's the beginning here that you'll see of the Garlean Empire. It has been 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. 15 years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Egrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking. And all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious conquest. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now, it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We, we are of one, one mind, mind, Lord Van Balzar. Is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at the Orsia? Hey? What 
hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Otto, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Fumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitek. Ah, what lovely story time, eh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Out of that entire cutscene, oh goodness. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have I have many words, of course, because, yeah, I've done this before. Um, but uh, I will say that uh, after the second, after, uh, second, I should, say, I should say technically the first expansion of this game, heaven's word, um, I had a completely different uh, opinion about Midgard Samir afterwards, but that's all I'm going to say for that. <laughs> Let us continue on. We are in Gridania. You were not in. That was a great introduction of the Garlean Empire. Yep. Yep. They think everyone here in Eorzea are a bunch of uh, god worshipping crazy. You know, they don't like. They don't like the gods. They don't like any of it. They don't. Yeah. It, but they're also not blessed with magic, so of course they have to rely on technology. So, yeah. Alright. Ah, you must be envoy from Lunsa Minsa. Welcome to Gridania, madam. The Elder Seed Seer awaits your arrival. I'm in the land of the elves! I'm in the land of the elves. There's elves everywhere. Yay! Here we go. Okay. Hello there, Serpent Honor Guard, sir! Greetings, good madam. You are the Lominsen envoy, are you not? I have received instructions to assist you. Pray make your way into the city proper and identify yourself to the conjurer at Nofika's altar. She will admit you to the lotus stand where the elder seed seer awaits. Yes, indeed. Off we go. I gotta admit though, this this area is very pretty, very chill. And now we can see other people playing, a lot of pe different people here. People that uh, come to just hang out and people who rolled different... Uh, different classes to start here instead okay so now we have to run around the city that uh, we haven't been to yet we must tune very important to lick the crystal <laughs> I can taste the mana <laughs> okay anyways <laughs> yeah uh, let's see gotta go this way 
Yes, am I taking a little detour to unlock all of the etherite, the etherite network? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. All the way this way. There's one over here. So, yep, there's one right there. So, if you pick... Let's see, what are the jobs here? Let's see, if you pick... Rotter or Arcanist. I think those are the two jobs for sure. The starting loading page, loading screen. Those two are the ones that for sure I know start in uh, Limsa Luminsa. Um, yeah, there's no other person here. So need to go this way. If you start in Gridania. Then you have you. Then that means you roll either the archer, the lancer, or the conjurer. For and that, of course, that one is your the only healer one that shows up right away. It starts at level. You're essentially your level one healer. Uh, wait, can go this way? Because there's one up this way. Let me grab this one. Pretty, it's so pretty. There's still eggs everywhere because the Easter stuff's still going on. The hatch, the hatchling. There we go. Perfect. Alright. And I haven't decided yet, but I am the. I believe I am the appropriate level. And I don't think there's any quest requirements, but there is a short little quest chain to do that is part of the little Easter event. And you do get a. Uh, a little outfit for a glamour later, if you so desire. And it is a bunny suit. <laughs> ah, yes. Um, yeah, I haven't decided. <laughs> do, do I want? Do I want to be a Viera running around in a bunny suit? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I have I have no words right now. Okay, so we unlock that one. Okay, so we're going to yeah. let's go back to leather workers. I'm gonna lick all the crystals. Mm, tasty network. All right. And it's not only uh, the classes or whatever. There's also the crafters and the gather um, jobs. They also will have um, different places to start or whatnot. Um, there's a lot of them in Limsa, but, um, and there are a few here in Gridania, but I swear, I think the most is, um, I think Ulda has the most. Oh! Gotta dance! Oh, yep, they do have the quest right there available. Huh, maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe. I don't know. I'll think about it. Okay, that's a tune. There we go. All right. Let's see. There's two more, so we'll go get this one. Last one we can grab is near where our quest is. Let's go faster. <laughs> Make this go faster. Wee. I like that they even add like the ban. There's banners and random. Uh, not just eggs lying on the ground. There's banners that have the the decor for the holiday, and there's baskets that have the eggs in them too. It's super cute. Okay. Now we'll head back. This should be the last one down here. A lot of looks like somebody else. Lots of uh, people trying to pick up the gatherer stuff, which crafter gatherer stuff has gotten. I think it's gotten a little bit better, than, at least in the time that I've played. I mean, I can only imagine for people who played this game for a very long time. From what I understand, that I mean, yes, some of the systems are a little wonky now, but I guess there's also the um, there's also a lot of new stuff that added. All right, we're almost there. 
This should be the last one, I hope. We'll find out. If it is the last one, it'll say that we have access to the main gates. Okay. There we go. Yep, it was. We're good. Okay. Yep, we have attuned it. So now we have access to the airship landing and the um, the gates to Central Shroud, North Shroud, all that jazz. Which is good. Okay. Alright. Now it's time to talk to the Silent Conjurer. You are the Lomincent Envoy. Begging your pardons, madam, but I might inspect the missive you bear. Take the thing! Verily, this is the seal of the Admiral of Limsa Please come with me. Take me to your leader, elf. <laughs> ah, yes, and pretty much the only race of people that is very unique. I had to look up what kind of folks folk that she is. So and you whatnot. are the Limsa envoy, and an adventurer besides. The realm owes much to you and yours. On behalf of our fair nation. I bid you welcome. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Bredania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Admiral. Remembrance service for the fallen of Cartano. To think that five years have already come and gone. It seems like only yesterday that the Garlean Empire attempted to seize all that we hold dear. Rising in resistance, the city states of Eorzea formed the Grand Companies and joined hands in alliance. But unbeknown to us, the Garleans sought not to best us in battle, but moved instead to enact a terrible plot. The meteor project by which the lesser moon, Dalamud, would be torn down from the heavens to annihilate all life below. In a desperate bid to save the realm from certain destruction, our forces marched for the Cartano Flats, and there met the Seventh Imperial Legion. More bloody a battle I have, I have never seen and would never wish to see again, yet the carnage was but a prelude to the atrocity which followed. For despite our best efforts, Dalamun continued its descent, and from it emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who proceeded to rain fire upon Eorzea. The Seventh Imperial Legion was consumed the blinking of an eye, while our own forces fared little better. That any among us were spared defies explanation. All seemed sure to perish. As the flames converged upon us, I prepared myself for death only for a brilliant light to envelop me, relieving me of my senses. When at last I awoke, Bahamut was gone, and the land, which had but moments before been aflame, now seemed to me a place unknown, not simply ruined, but changed. Archon Louis Swa may well have been able to shed light upon these mis mysteries, but he, like so many, never returned from Cartano. And so we were left with countless questions and no prospect of an answer. Yet such matters did not long occupy our thoughts, for we had far graver concerns. The calamity, as the devastation wrought by Bahamut had come to be known, laid our nations nigh to waste, and to this day we struggled to rebuild our lives and homes. To compound matters, the beast tribes continue to summon their primals, while the Empire encroaches upon our borders, consolidating its foothold in Eorzea. The outlook, in short, is bleak. In the wake of the Calamity, it has been all each nation could do to nurse its own wounds. Yet, if we are to weather the coming storm, we must needs stand united once more. A Remembrance Service may well present an opportunity to rekindle the spirit of unity which first gave rise to the Alliance. I wholeheartedly approve the Admiral's proposal. The necessary provisions shall be made for a service here in Gridan.
you have done the people of Eorzea a fine service this day, and I would not put you to further trouble. I shall see that my reply reaches the Admiral and none. You, meanwhile, are bound next for Uldah, are you not? Please send the Flame General my regards. Ah, and if you would be so kind, I should appreciate it if you would inform him that a pet of mine has been ill-behaved of late. My wolf, to be precise. Needless to say, he must be brought to heel, and I would very much welcome the General's counsel on how this might be achieved. I thank you for coming. May the Twelve see you safe to Uldah and beyond. Yay! We did it! Now we have to go back to the airship. <laughs> but yeah, no, her, she is a unique uh, race to the game, and I have yet to see any other like her. Well, her, it's her, and if you join the Conjurer's Guild, um, the main gentleman you speak to there, I believe, is one of her siblings, as well as um, when you take on the task of becoming White Mage, you then meet the rest of the family. There's two other ones, and they are all called, I believe, if I'm pronouncing this correctly, they're called Panjali. They have, um, I don't know if you noticed on her, but they have what appear to be um, very long, almost um, antelope-like antlers that are part of them. So yeah, it's interesting. Um, I don't know any more than that. I had I just had to look that up, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. So, and I guess apparently, I, I mean, I guess my my biggest guess is that they are very nature sensitive. Obviously, that's my guess. Greetings, madam. This is the counter for passengers traveling to Ulda. Oh, are you not Heisenblade Primro Primrose, the little Vincent envoy? On behalf of all at High Wind Skyways, may I say what an honor it is to serve you. Will you be flying with us today? Well, I kind of have to. <laughs> Thank you, though, dear. And we say bye to Elfland again. We said we said hello, and now we're going to say bye. All right, so we have to go out this way. They make us take the long way. All right. Oh, get someone here doing the cutscene. Cat boy. <laughs> All right. Board the airship. Here we go. I'm on a boat that flies. <laughs> All righty. Very pretty area. I like I like um, the black shroud. Hmm. Ish. <laughs> and now, ah, this, this city I have very, um, I have a very, uh, big soft spot for this city. Because this was my first, this was my first place. And I rolled my very first character and I started playing this game last year. This is where I started. I love the music too. <laughs> Ah, lovely Ulda. All right, hello there, dear. Ah, you must be the envoy from Limsa Lominsa. Welcome to Ulda, madam. The Flame General awaits your arrival. Yep, leave the landing area. The Flame Honor Guard. Hello, sir. Welcome to Ulda, madam. We have been expecting you. Flame General Raban will receive you in the fragrant. Ch <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot it was called that. The fragrant chamber. Please take the lift down to the Hus Hustine Strip and speak with Bartholomew at the, <laughs> at the Royal Promenade. Oh man, I'm sorry. Oh, the names. I forgot about these names. Oh dear. All right, <laughs> enough laughing. This is no laughing matter. It's supposed to be, uh, we have to, uh, set a good zone. Hey, hello! Hello, short stack. How are you, sir? Uh, let's see here. We need to go to the hustling, hustling strip. Yes, thank you. Off we go. Oh, it'll be fun running around this city again, getting all the <laughs> all the ether right. That's okay though. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Cool thing is you don't have to grab the main, um, the big Icarite to do this. You can just grab as you go, which we will do shortly. But let's go ahead and uh, do the quest here first. We'll go collect all the Icarite before we leave. Go 
this way. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Lots of stairs. All right, oh, lots of people are hanging out over here. Cool. All right. Hello there, Bartholomew. Hello, Minson Envoy, I presume. Would you be so good as to allow me to inspect the missive you bear, madam? My thanks. There you go. Have it. Ah, yes, the Admiral's seal. Please proceed. Hey there, big boy! Ah, a guest from Limsa. I thought I smelled stale ale. <laughs> I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Mervyn says, tis a wonder you don't reek of dead Sahagin. Welcome to the Sultanate of Uldah. I am Ravan Al-Din, General of the Immortal Flames. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. Cartano. I, I remember bloody Cartano. Did you know what happened that day, adventurer, when we took the field against the Garleans? So my counterparts have educated you. Hmm. Connie's pet is giving her trouble, is it? Well, she should already know my mind on that subject. Wolves are beyond taming. Tis but a matter of time before they bare their teeth. So it was with the Garleans, fifty years ago. No sooner had they learned how to use Magitek than they began seizing territory from their neighbors. Led by their... Led by then Legatus Solus Zos Galvas, they swiftly brought the other nations of Isabard to heel, and so the Legatus became an emperor and his Republican Empire. An empire which then set its sights upon Eorzea. But the conquering of Emperor is now an old man of four scorn winters. His, hearth, his health is failing, and he has no clear successor. Like as not, this is why the Garleans have been quiet of late. But the 14th Imperial Legion is still entrenched within our borders, and their commander, Legatus Gaius van Belsar, has long harbored ambitions of conquest. Were he to strike now, I fear we would fall like so many others before us. And not only Ulda, but Gridania and Limsa Luminsa as well. For the calamity brought a lot of us to our knees, and we've yet to give up. We barely had the strength to stand against the beast tribes, never mind the primals that mean to summon. We are a realm-divided adventurer, an alliance in name only. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. The Garleans stir and the Elder Seed Seer would not let it go unnoticed. All of their concerns pale in comparison to the Empire, even the Beast Tribes and their bloody primals. We must stand united once more, that much is clear. And if we're to do so, we must remember the cause which last brought us together. Meryl Wibb will have her memorial. We will honor the memory of the Fallen. We will remind the people what their brothers and sisters fought and died for. Shall I inform the Sultana and the Syndicate? I will speak with her grace myself. Very good, sir. The Admiral will have my reply anon. My thanks to you, adventurer. Yay! We completed quest! Look, and we get our little airship! Yay! Cool! And now we have it completely unlocked. We can go whenever. Yay! We have to spend a little gill for it. Woohoo! Leaving Lamin Limsa Lominsa. Yay! Achievement get! Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, Roban, my heart. Ah, uh, he has a soft spot. I have a soft spot for Roban, of course. Ah, uh, good times, good times. Ah, uh, he's good people. Ah. Uh, he's a good, he's a good one. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> He's a cool guy. All right. Well, I've been hit. <laughs> hey, thanks, Nikara. Uh, I need to stand and do my, my stretch and my break. 
practice the healthy gaming habits and all that. So I'm going to take about a, about a five minute or so break. Um, and uh, when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll continue on with this. And I'm also going to grab all the ether right around Uldah. Maybe take a little stroll because I love the city. <laughs> we'll see. But I shall return shortly, everyone. I'll be right back. <laughs> 